Welcome back to our VTuber game development session. We've had a really, really good demo last week to show you our initial setup of the VTuber studio alongside the open Q&A session where we got some really good feedback from some of you on how to best structure these demos. This week we have created a brand new demo to share with you a blueprint that you can clone and drag into your scene seamlessly. We're focusing on developing a blueprint that can toggle between three types of off-world live capture systems and to also learn how to access these assets through our demo, Knowledge Center article, and Pastebin. And today we will be introducing new blueprints for you to use in your scene. And this is a shareable blueprint for us to access also during the demo. And particularly, we will be developing an actor blueprint that allows you to toggle between three types of off-world live camera captures, where you could press a key to trigger the toggle change. We will be creating a toggle systems for these camera captures using an actor blueprint. For that, we have got two ways for you to access our blueprints. As this is an actor blueprint, you can access it via the Discord demo chat here, where I've dropped a U asset. All you have to do is import this actor blueprint into your content browser and drag and drop this blueprint into your scene. Alternatively, you can also access our blueprint via the link given here for Pastebin. On the first option, you can simply drag and drop this in your content browser. And when you drag this into the scene, you just have to select the different capture components as well as your static mesh for this to work seamlessly. Alternatively, Pastebin is a really, really good resource for those of you interested to learn more about blueprints and reuse blueprints others have made. Here we have published our newest updated toggle camera capture blueprint on Pastebin. And once you click the button above, it will automatically copy blueprint into your clipboard. And then in Unreal Engine Blueprint Editor, you just have to create an actor blueprint and paste this into the editor. So first, we're looking at the different ingredients we will need to create today's demo. We have four main ingredients. First, we've got the viewport capture, and then the off-world live cine cam capture, and then a 360 cam capture where each cam capture system will require its own render target and its respective material. With that we will also need a static mesh for us as a placeholder to preview our render targets. And finally we've got the toggle camera blueprint allowing us to toggle between these systems and display it on the static mesh. Following this really short demo, you'll be able to recreate this super quickly by cloning our blueprint from Pastebin or drag and drop this asset into your scene. So let's begin. So first I've just opened up Unreal to create a new template level here. As you can see in my scene, I've only got some environment meshes in the scene, but contains no cameras in the level. As a case study for today, I'll be using this TV static mesh as our main protagonist. So as a case study today, I'll be using this TV static mesh as our main protagonist. And we'll use this TV as a static mesh for our demo to apply the camera capture texture on this mesh actor. And in order to capture the scene from three views and toggling between viewport, cinecam and 360 capture, we will first need to create those three camera capture systems in our scene. So first we have the viewport capture, which you can uh, add from Offworld Live um, Toolkit into your scene. The viewport capture captures the viewport scene, so the viewport display, um, 
into a render target. And so I'll just quickly create for each camera, create its own texture target. And I'll name it render target viewport. And if you want to just create a new texture target, all you have to do is hover above this drop down menu and go to create new asset render target. Once you click that, you'll, you will have a new render target. And with that as well, I've just saved them into a folder over here and you can hover above each render target, right click and find create material as the first option. So as you hit that, they'll create a new material for a viewport um, render target. And we'll just do the same for um, for all the, uh, the three types of captures. And with each camera, you'll have to kind of adjust different focus settings um, and positions, transforms, angles, so on and so forth. And if you scroll down into the off-world live Cinecam, you'll see the same texture target slot where you can create a new render target. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I've already created kind of corresponding render targets for each camera capture. Um, I'm just fixing a bit of focus settings as well to make sure that it's focused on our TV so that it's looking crisp. And similarly, I'll do the same to add Off-World Live 360 cam capture into our scene. And just looking through and piloting our 360 camera, it's currently pilot, uh, piloted at the back. So just adjusting the kind of angles for the best type of capture. So let's say this is going to be our capture. Under 360, I've also selected um, a render target that responds to that, and I've selected an equal rectangular um, projection type as well, just for this um, tutorial. And so after adjusting the focus settings of each camera, you will now need to create a render target in a material assigned to reflect this render target. A render target is essentially the real time render target, taking what the camera sees into a texture. And so once you've created a render target texture for each view, you can browse to the item in the content browser, right click and create material. And now you have created three camera systems alongside three render targets and three materials. Once you've added three types of camera captures and a static mesh to your level, you're ready to drag, um, you're ready to drop the toggle camera blueprint asset into your level. And so as provided by this demo, you will receive a U asset that you can drag and drop into your level. And so what I've done here is I'm just dragging the same U asset provided and dropping that into the scene. In the actor blueprint, you can select the appropriate actor for each component from the drop down menu. Then in the actor blueprint, under input settings, you can now turn on 
otter receive input to receiving input for player zero. And so this is just down here to otter receive input for player zero. This is to ensure that the um, this is to ensure that the actor blueprint is able to receive any controller settings and kind of like input from your keyboard for this actor blueprint to work. In order to make sure that this actor blueprint is receiving input from your keyboard and control pay, player controller. In order for this um, actor blueprint to be receiving input from your player controller, such as your keyboard, you'll need to turn on the auto receive input to possess player zero. Now, you will be able, you will be able, um, now this actor blueprint will be able to receive different inputs such as key press events um, and, and so on and so forth. In both Cinecam and 360, one additional thing we can do is to use show only list to create different alpha settings for your camera capture. The show only list is really useful for you to create um, textures with alpha channels and to show actors that you want to show on the render target. So one example of that is to only show um, the test static mesh as um, as the show only actor. In both Cinecam and 360 Cam settings, you can check use show only lists and add desired actors to show only actors so that these actors will be shown with an alpha channel in the render target. You may add more than one actors if you want to show more than one actors at once. In the 360 cam as well, once you expand the alpha settings, you'll be able to perform the same tasks to use show only lists and make sure that's checked and add the desired actor into, into this array. And once that's done, I'm just gonna hit save as well as play in this level. So now we're able to very quickly using the key press event, I'm just tapping on my keyboard. Um, uh, I'm just tapping number one on my keyboard now to toggle through and cycle through all the options and camera captures. Once we have got all the required components in the level, we're now ready to jump into our toggle camera blueprint to look at how each stage is programmed. When you open the toggle camera blueprint and click on event graph, you'll see quite a lot of nodes already connected in this space, in this Blueprint Editor. First, I will show you how on Event Begin Play, we're able to initialize these variables and find the corresponding actors in the scene. This is to ensure that, um, this is to ensure that when you drag and drop this Blueprint, it is also already able to search for the viewport um, capture, Cinecam capture and 360 capture on its own. And on begin play, it will be checking in a sequence to check whether these camera capture systems are already valid in the scene. And if it is not valid, they will be getting each component and actor. If they're not valid, they'll be able to get each actor of the same class in the scene and set that to the variable. And again, this is to make sure that we've initialized these variables and find the right actors in the scene to match our variables. And once that's done, we're able to move on to our toggle options. So this blueprint is triggered by a key press event where if the user presses one, it will trigger um, a kind of multi-gate 
to select um, and cycle through all these five options of camera capture of camera captures. And I've already mentioned that because we have um, three types of capture systems, but then with the option to show alpha channels to use the show only list, we've now generated five options here. And so looking at the multi gate, you'll see that there are five outputs. And then I've also got um, a really, it's really important to note that loop is also checked. This is to ensure that once we cycle through all the options from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, we're able to return to 0 to continue toggling. We've also set the start index at minus 1 to make sure we always start at 0. Then we can start connecting our multi gate to different options, but before we set the different kind of options um, before we set the different camera capture options we have to first get camera and capture components this is for us to get the variable and to um, this is for us to get the correct variables and link them to the different settings will be off um, will be changing in the following options So again, we have three types of camera capture systems, including the OWL viewport, OWL Cinecam, and OWL 360. For Cinecam and 360, because these are the camera actors, we'll need to get a specific component. Um, we'll get we'll need to get a specific component that is the capture component of these cameras. Once that's done. We can now start connecting our options together. We've got five uh, five options. First, including first we've got the viewport capture, and then we've got a cinecam, and third we've got a cinecam with alpha channels. So sh using the show only list to only show the actors we want we want to show on render targets. And then we've got a 360 cam as well as a 360 with alpha channel. With each setting, we have to first pause rendering on the cameras or capture systems that we're not using. For example, for viewport capture, we'll be pausing rendering on Cinecam and 360 as they will not be useful and will impact the performance of the viewport capture. And so here I've just paused rendering on um, the Cinecam connecting the get component by class to the set pause rendering node and similarly with the 360 cam, cam capture i've also pause rendering on that and then i have unpaused rendering for the viewport capture so that it can move smoothly and just looking at all these options with with the normal cinecam option we've also pause rendering on viewport and 360 camera and unpause itself and to make sure that it is not using the show only list. So we've set the use show only list to um, to a, um, we've set to not use the show only list so that we will be able to capture the entire scene. Alternatively, we'll be using the same Cinecam However, to, um, to use the show only list and foreground the only actors we want to show. And the same logic goes to 360 cam capture, where we'll pause rendering on both Cinecam and viewport capture and to set different logic for the use show only list for each option. So this is a basic kind of summary of how the camera capture uh, options work. And with that, we will need to also finally preview what we are setting um, for rendering on our desired static mesh. And because we want to see the results of this toggle camera um, 
system on a static mesh so that we can see in real time what, how render targets change. I have used the display static mesh here and I've gotten its static mesh component and set five materials with the first one being the material used for viewport over here. And then the second option being the Cinecam material. And the third option also on Cinecam material. Um, fourth option, 360. And then another 360. A really important thing to note here is that you are able to select which material slot. A really important thing here is that you can choose which material slot you are changing for your static mesh component. So just cycling back to our Unreal scene, you'll see that the TV static mesh has currently one, two, three, four, five, six, seven material slots. With the seven materials, we are able to specify which material you want to change. And this is what I've done here. And I've changed specifically the element index six and set material to the viewport material I have just created earlier. Finally, to get the player pawn and player controller and to set the actor location to look at the TV every time we toggle, I have uh, I've gotten the player pawn make a vector three node and then set the actor location to this to this vector three node. And we are now done. When we press play, you'll be able to press one to toggle through all the options. This is the end of our tutorial. Um, thank you so much for tuning in today. And as mentioned, this blueprint is up on Pastebin for you to reuse. And we've also created a Knowledge Center article for you to, to walk through these step by step. Thank you so much for your time and hoping to see you soon.